Hey there, CrossFit Dumbers members. Welcome to another video on this vlog. Uh, so, man, again, uh, this last week was super busy. Had a lot of fun at the Strongman event. Um, let's go ahead. Let's jump into some items that I think is going to be really important. I've mentioned it in the process of actually making a nice, clean hand care video. It should be fun. But essentially, just know that you guys need to figure out how to keep your calluses on your hands, no matter where they're at. If they're on your callus line of your palm or in your fingers, that you need to try to keep them hydrated and thin, right? If they become thick, it's easier to go ahead and for them to catch on a gymnastics bar or even a barbell for some of you. And then even if they're hydrated, then they can rip off because there's so much for that foreign object to grab and the tear. Now, but if they're thin, but they become too dry, AKA overuse of chalk can occur. Then what's gonna end up happening, they're gonna dry off. Uh, there's that, it's no longer gonna have a nice, smooth, just um, transition from callus line to, right? And the, your normal skin on your hand, it's just gonna have that abrupt edge because the callus becomes too dry, right? It doesn't have a nice transition point. So go ahead guys, just I think thin and supple calluses, right? Um, with that, let's talk about, again, for gymnastics, I've been seeing this a little bit, so it tells me that um, a chunk of you aren't doing a requisite amount of mobility that you should be doing outside of class, or what just means is that as a baseline, you as a human are more tight than others, or your job creates more tension through your uh, shoulder, elbow, or wrist, right, and anything in between than you need to. Guys, we need to understand that in the gymnastic cycle, we need to go ahead and make sure the trap, the pec, the lat, we're constantly going ahead and mobilizing it, trying to stretch it out, that we're trying to keep the forms nice and loose, right? And then as well as uh, the bicep, right? And all the insertion points. Go ahead, ask a coach uh, if you have no idea um, what you should be doing, uh, and especially if your forearms, your wrist, elbow, shoulder has been giving you a little bit of a naggy uh, feeling, or if it's starting to feel tight, not hurt, but starting to feel tight, and it hasn't gone away, and you know, like, like you know, it starts at a one, it ramps to like maybe a five in tightness, and then it just calms right back down to one after a day, then maybe not a big deal. But if it keeps on waving up, and then only coming back down by a number or two, that means you need to go ahead and talk about taking care of yourself a little better. Ask a coach, and they should be able to give you some guidance. With that, guys, let's talking about basic programming. Uh, tomorrow this should be a, a lot of fun. Uh, remember, Wednesdays are our days to work on muscle ups. So this is your time to go ahead, take that chunk that we have a skill, and really work on um, if it's the kip on the rings, if it's going to be the turnover, anything like that. Try to stay really mentally engaged. Um, with that. It's going to be important to go ahead and let you guys know that how we're going to handle this for uh, ring or bar muscle ups. If you aren't able to do the ring or bar muscle up by the time um, in the workout, right, we're going to go ahead and be having you do three times the amount of pull ups, right, for bar muscle ups, or three times the amount of pull ups and ring dips or dips for a ring muscle up. Right, so uh, if it's going to be two muscle ups, that means you got to go ahead to get through the next round, or so on and so forth. You're going to have to do six pull ups and then six dips, right, for a ring muscle up, or just six pull ups for a bar muscle up. And you're going to try to go ahead and pull as high as you can. So for those that can, this means it's going to be a chest bar. Uh, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. For those of you that are competitors, right, and you're going to stick around for the extra work, you're going to go ahead and have a fun little um, power snatch. Imam uh, to go and work on skill, um, and then you're going to be having a, a really gross little monostructural uh, sprint piece to where uh, we have to understand that you're going to be getting a baseline amount of double unders in every 30 seconds, and then the opposite 30 seconds you're going to go ahead and essentially max uh, burpees, but unless you get over four, so if I get five, my score is one that round. If I get six, two. If I only get four, then my score is zero that round, so on and so forth, guys. Okay, so it's a little bit longer video because we talked about all the stuff in the front. Remember, guys, go ahead and take care of yourself, including your hands, everything around your shoulder girdle, 
uh, your elbow and your wrist, right? Try to think anything that's bugging you here. Usually it's going to be some sort of a, a soft tissue, connected tissue. Um, uh, I should say soft tissue in terms of muscle that's starting to go ahead and put wear and tear into the connective tissue, and that's linking in and then pulling something in your joint out of place uh, traditionally, right? And that's way oversimplification, but easy way for you guys to think about it. Anyway, guys, be relentless in everything that you do, and you will see you on the flip side.